Hello there everyone. Okay, so first of all, I did try and get a video recorded during Infinity Conquest week. And yeah, I just didn't get the look of the green, so uh, or the rub of the green, should I say. So uh, yeah, unfortunately I didn't get an Infinity run this time, but we have got a similar deck to what I tried last time, and it has become very meta since then, so uh, let's show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so the deck that we are talking about is Wasp, Yellow Jacket, Kitty Pride, Angela, Elsa Bloodstone, the new season pass card, Luke Cage, Mobius and Morbius, or Mobius even, <laughs> Mysterio, Bishop, Hitmonkey, Thor, and Jane Foster, Lady Thor. So let's just go into more detail here. Wasp, as we've seen before, no ability, just my secret power is that I get things done. From there, we've got Yellow Jacket. On reveal, afflict your other cards at this location with minus one power. Now, that is why we have Luke Cage in the deck. Luke Cage, as an ongoing ability, your cards cannot have their power reduced. Then Kitty Pride, now 1-0. When this returns to your hand, plus one power returns at the start of each turn. We move on to Angela. After you play a card here, plus two power. Elsa, the new card. If you play another card to fill a location, give it plus three power, so Kitty can really take advantage of that. Then we've got Mobius. Your cards cannot be increased and your opponent's costs can't be reduced. So very, uh, very good card, but also can be very frustrating with certain decks. The whole purpose of this deck is not to be affected by Mobius. Mysterio. As you play this, play illusions toward locations. Disguise this as an illusion until the game ends. Uh, I'll be honest, I have been tempted to drop Mysterio, I know that feels a bit weird because I know a lot of people feel like Mysterio is broken in this deck, but I feel like if you want to try and potentially win mirrors, this could be a, the one to drop because you do want to protect against uh, decks that are playing Mobius, and there's a bit of me that would like Shadow King in this deck, but maybe, yeah, maybe Mysterio is just too indispensable in that regard. Uh, Bishop, after you play a card, this gains plus one power. Because of the two zero costs at the final turn, we will be playing a lot of cards usually, hopefully to fill lanes with Elsa. Hit Monkey, on reveal, gain plus two power for each other card you played this turn. Again, we're hoping to flood a lot of cards in the final turn, so Hit Monkey should gain a lot of power. So, on reveal, shuffle Mjolnir into your deck, and then Mjolnir's ability on reveal gives Thor plus six power. Finally, Lady Jane, or I call Lady Jane, it's Jane Foster, the Mighty Four. On reveal, draw all cards that cost zero from your deck, which includes Wasp, Yellow Jacket, and Mjolnir. So we're going to go into some games on ladder. We're going to do 10 battles. Now, just before we do that, I do want to show that on Conquest yesterday, day one of the season, I did actually do a gold Conquest and got an Infinity, techie, Infinity Ticket using this deck. So there is great potential for it. Um, I think... I don't think Mysterio is the problem with it. I just think that Elsa is brilliant. You know, again, if you don't draw Mysterio, you can still win. Um, Mysterio is just a very nice condition for Bishop and for Hitmonkey. So, uh, yeah, we'll get into some games on ladder. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so our first opponent today is Micha. Uh, okay, so we don't play card this turn anyway, so we're just going to skip. All right, Sanctum Sanctorium. That's... Probably the biggest uh, weakness of this deck, we haven't got cards that move. So for now we'll just play Kitty and say charge up Kitty with uh, Muir Island. Scorpion's a bit rough if you don't pull Luke, but again we should be fine because chances are we will draw him. Ooh, cloning bats now, that could be really good. Um, yeah, we're going to do that, we're going to play Elsa and Kitty. Potentially, we could have a lot of power going to a card soon. <laughs> okay, we got Mobius. Um, oh, this is very interesting as far as handling the power. I think we play both of these now because we have got uh, Jane Foster. So, yeah, we don't. As much as I really want to play a lot of Alsas, I think this is the play. Uh, we're going to snap, actually. They can probably work out what kind of deck I'm running just based off Thor when they see it, but uh, if they can stop it, that's another thing. So it doesn't seem to be a leech deck. Face the might of Asgard. Okay, nice and straightforward. 
Yeah, still no Luke Cage, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, all right, if I play this now, it'll go up to eight power. It'll go down up to nine at the end of the next turn, so we haven't got to worry about uh, Shang-Chi or anything here. Um, we're not going to play Yellow Jacket because we want to see, first of all. Actually, we won't pull Luke because we're going to pull Mjolnir uh, and maybe what? Actually, no, we'll just pull Mjolnir or Wasp. Okay, we didn't pull Mjolnir. That's not great. We've still got power gain potential, but we've got to play this smart now. So, we can do a 1, a 2, and a 3. And a 0, obviously. So, I think what we do, we've got to play the other Alsa. We're going to play Wasp. Just checking my energy. We've got 4 energy, so we do that. That, even though it's going to hurt the energy, and that. That way, the two big cards that benefit are going to get the Alsa benefits. Yeah, we we really soft a bit there, not being able to play Luke. All right, that's twelve. We win that location. Do we win enough with Hit Monkey? Eight power on the monkey flat. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm liking this deck. I am. I, again, no Mysterio there. That's why I'm kind of drawn into it. I mean, I don't think there was another play line there. I'd, even if we'd got Shadow King, as I was mentioning before, I don't think there was a solution there that would have been better than Luke Cage. Uh, Sanctum as well really robbed us of a really explosive play, but still, I love that. Uh, cloning Vats with Elsa is just... Whoa, you want Snap when you see it. All right, on to the next one. Grayson, um, Dick, Richard. Okay, so the raft, uh, I like that. I think that's gonna be very beneficial with Elsa. Uh, we will play Elsa now. We'll keep Mobius as a defensive option if we need to play it. All right, another Scorpion. Hmm. Okay, again, no Luke. That's a little bit frustrating. For now, we'll just try and fill the raft a little bit, so we'll get Thor down. Yeah, back-to-back -back, uh, Scorpion decks. Nakia. We'll have a float your boat with Nakia, I guess. Okay, we have got Lady Jane, so that's beneficial to us. They haven't done anything in the raft yet, so I'm thinking we're going to snap. We'll just put a bit of pressure on. We're going to play that there. I know the argument could be we try and fill the raft sooner, but we haven't got Kitty or anything we can bounce out. So I'd rather just put something down now. If anything, we sh well, actually we won't share the same power as uh, Nakia because we've lost one due to Scorpion. Again, if we pull loot though, not too bad. Um, all right, I don't mind playing Thor, Lady Thor there. I keep going to Lady Thor. I, I, it, it says Lady Thor in the comics, is it? Or am I just making that up? Either way, the Mighty Thor. <laughs> Jane. Um, Alright, yeah, so we'll play that there. Bishop could be a bit awkward to try and power through next, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not entirely sure what deck they're running. I thought it was High Evo again, but the Bishop's making me second uh, think it. Okoye? Is this a bot? I mean, Nakia made me think it was a bot, but because she's been reworked, there is... Potentially it isn't. Oh, okay, yeah, this is... Uh, this feels botty to be snapping on that. Um, okay, so we haven't got the greatest of hands, but we certainly haven't got the worst. So, I figure we do Angela, Luke... Oh, I want to make sure I just win one location. In fact, I'm going to switch uh, lanes there. I'm going to play here, even though it's a little bit funkier. Um, ooh, we can't play both. Ooh. Well, I'd rather loot just to get rid of the negative power we're going to put down. So we do... One. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, I can't play Angela and Luke. Um... No, no, hang on, hang on. We do that, we do that, we do that. That and that. 
The monkey should win the left. And yeah, we should be fine. I, I was overthinking that with it being a bot, but uh, still, you don't want to lose, do you? You don't want to lose down to some silly mistake. Alright, so how big are you getting, monkey? There we go. Comfortable win. To me. Yeah, that was just so comfortable. I mean, uh, again, it's a bot. There's, there's no way it wasn't with playing Halcow turn six. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll take it. You know, a win's a win. Battle three. We're up against Hello. I say, is it Hello there? General Kenobi? Is it you, Ewan? Okay, we're starting off with Sunspot, so uh, I've got high Evo vibes. Um, based on the last couple of decks, I feel like it's kind of important to get Luke on the board early. Okay. Maybe not high Evo because of Jeff. Uh, let's see then. I actually really like Thoria. In fact, we're going to snap. We can do Thor and then Elsa in Sinister. And yeah, if they got a location change card, it could go away straight away. We take the chance. No, they're putting down a nebula. Alright, so we get two Mjolnirs in our deck. Certainly increases the odds we pull it. Okay. We're going to play Angela, and even though it... Oh, saying that, do we want to play Angela in the vault? Trouble is, I don't want to fill Sinister London, but I do want to play two Alsas. I kind of hope if I play that... No, hang on, hang on, let's... Oh, this is tricky as far as ordering it. We're going to take a shot. We'll take a shot that the one in the middle is enough. Okay, that's awkward for space. Okay, they haven't got a Mobius, so they're kind of reliant on something happening here. I don't mind doing that. I'm not really playing it for power, I'm just playing it to draw the uh, zero costs. And we've got a few of them, so uh, we should be drawing uh, filling our hand here. We won't have room for them, that's the downside. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, that. Okay, they play Hulk. Yeah, Hulk's a bit of an issue. Especially with that location. Cards can't be played here. It doesn't say that cards can't be ha added. So... I feel like if we do that, 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 saying that, I kind of want a monkey to go there. I feel like it's got to be the other Mjolnir, but that won't be enough to win that lane. Go on, we're going to try it. I, I know we're going for eight cubes here, but I'm going to take a gamble here. We've won eight, so I don't mind risking an eight. But yeah, what are they going to play? Chavez. All right, Chavez could be too much. It's a fair bit of power. To me. To me. Hey, we've got a chance. Mjolnir, to me. Mjolnir, to me. That feels beautiful. I did stress a bit about that, just thinking, all right, how do I actually play it? And if I'm being honest, I was inefficient. I should have played the Mjolnirs first and then played the Hit Monkeys. But that was that was something I realised as I was uh, seeing them reveal. You know, I, I really should have played it so that they got the Elsa bonus. But honestly, that were beautiful. They didn't really have a play after as well. They they obviously thought, oh, well, Hulk's going to be enough. 
But uh, no, Thor was quite the match for Hulk. <laughs> that feels very thematic. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, Pip. Full of a took, Par Paragon took. <laughs> All right, uh, we got one extra energy. Uh, yeah, I think we play Angela. It's always awkward, I, I find, playing Angela as far as you want to keep bouncing Kitty, but you don't want to not get Angela on the board. And it can kind of be a weird flow when you're thinking, right, I need to also get Thor on the board or Bishop in this case. So, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. All right, Mopus is interesting, but we haven't got to worry too much about that. Ideally, we pull our own so that we can then stop them doing their shenanigans. Um... We are just going to play Kitty for now. We don't really want to play Thor early in this situation because we want to grow Kitty a little bit. If we got Alistair, I'd be thinking, right, we can afford to play it another way. Just checking, is that a gold, uh, Morbius? No, it's just the hit background. <clears throat> All right, now that, that's a little bit late, but it's still good to see. Um, we will play Thor now and we'll play Actually saying that, do we play Thor? I actually don't think we do. And I'm saying it and I've changed my mind. The simple reason I changed my mind, I was thinking we haven't got Lady uh, we haven't got Lady Thor. We haven't got Jane. So I'm thinking the issue with there is if we don't pull Jane, we've got a top deck Mjolnir. But we might still be okay. Um let's give it a go. Okay, Magic Alps. Actually I like that. It's certainly giving me more time to get my cards out. Downside, it's given us priority. Mm. Yeah, it has given us priority. Okay. Um, we play Bishop. Kitty. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, we've definitely got Pryo now. Is this a negative deck? Or is it... No, hang on. It's probably the uh, Elsa deck that's got the bounce mechanics. Yeah, I think it might be that. I, d I don't know. Iron Man's interesting. All right. Um, so we didn't get Lady, uh, <laughs> Lady Jane again. We didn't get uh, Jane. So I think we do one, two... I'm aware that it's still early, so I don't really want to play everything out yet. But I am worried about that Angela. It's getting big. Cerebro? Okay, now that was unexpected. Right, right. Uh, well, thankfully we can play all our cards. That's a big bonus. Um... I think we do one. Let Thor take a little hit with the Yellow Jacket. Two. Three. Opponent Four. Uh, five, six. I don't know if we can outmatch it for eight cubes, but I feel like this is the best chance we've got. Mysterio will fill the lane, so it will definitely get the... I'll... Oh, actually, saying that, it didn't get the buff in the last lane, but I'm fine with that. I'd rather hit Monkey get it. Yeah, so a little not to tour, but it'll bump back up. Mjolnir, to me. Okay, Wasp. This is where Alsa kicks in, so three for Mysterio there. Three for Mysterio there. I've got this feeling there's going to be a Shadow King somewhere. Thirty-six is a big target. Yeah, I had a feeling something like that could happen. All right, so we lose the left. Eh, okay. But we're fine everywhere else. All right. 
Uh, it's a lot of power to contend with. A lot of power. Alright. 3-8 cubes on the bounce. Let's go for another one. Culchin, you gonna finish that neck? Uh, they come up with some weird titles. I actually saw the patch notes for the next release and the number of titles that are coming into the game... Well, I said next release. It's one the next release is. The number of titles that are coming in is a borderline ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think sometimes the goofy, funny, you know, I don't mind them. But other times it's like, really? Do we need like 200 to my thoughts? <laughs> Alright, so Scorpion again. Yay, we have got loot this time. I didn't want to play loot last turn because I was worried about what the third location was, but we've got uh, a bit of flexibility now. So, uh, look on the board. I could have actually saved him as far as making him think, have you got it? But I take a risk. So the ramp him. They've got a five cost now. Um, we'll do that for now. Really wary of the rickety bridge. That could be a bit awkward. They could play Sandman. All right, we got Mobius, so it won't affect us. That was actually a risky play on their side. Yeah, I can actually do Jane and Kitty now, which is, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll take that. Um, We'll play Jane over here, we'll play Kitty over here. Still got room for Elsa shenanigans. I'm not inclined to snap here because I don't feel like we've got an explosive piece on the board. Okay. Still feel we're doing okay though. Yeah, it's only Yellow Jacket, sadly. Okay. Not a lot of room to say the least. Um, I don't feel like Hit Monkey's going to be great here, but at least we can proc it twice. And if we do Mysterio, at least it's full power. Oh, it's seven power with the uh, Alsa. That, that's a bit hard to overcome. At least with the number of cards we've played. Yeah, a bit unfortunate that. And say so, GG's. That was uh, an interesting jet deck choice, I will say. But uh, yeah, I feel like... I'm... <laughs> Up yours as well, man. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say it was an interesting choice. I mean, I feel like that used to be the old style of ramp. You used to do Iceman, Scorpion, Electro. So it's a little bit interesting seeing an Iron Lad put in there. Wave, I'm surprised they played so well as far as they obviously only had a, a full cost available to them. So um, yeah, well, actually saying that the, the, the higher costs weren't uh, uh, available, like they couldn't play six costs. So they had to play a four or a five and uh, yeah, they chose right as far as nullifying my play. I certainly didn't feel confident playing Lady Jane in the middle. So, um, yeah. Maybe that would have been better with hindsight. If I'd have played Lady Jane middle, then I would have still had space over here to play another card that would have propped Hitmonkey a bit further, which then could have won the game. Uh, also, if that, that's assuming Lady... Uh, I keep calling her Lady Jane. Uh, if Jane had uh, got, died in the middle and it hadn't been Prof X, then it still would have been okay. So maybe one to keep in mind in the future for a situation like this. But uh, yeah, it was only a two cube loss, so I'd like to think I can learn something from that. All right, so Munich. What we getting? Daily Bugle. Live from the Daily Bugle. They've got a Korg. Um... I don't really need it, but I might as well play it. <laughs> you have a rock, I have a rock. Well, no, no, no. Apparently, they've got Nightcrawler. Okay, Shadowland just uh, taking up some board space. We'll play Angela on the right. My thoughts right now are Thor in the middle. And then we've got room for Elsa in left and right locations. All right, there's the Korg. Pulling a rock would be a bit disappointing. 
Okay, the Bifrost is not what we want. Uh, so that's changed my thoughts. We're going to play Thor there because we're going to have to cope with a ninja in the uh, right location. Could really do with playing something onto Angela. Ooh, wow. Okay, that's clustering me up a bit. Yeah, I think I do that. I just lock that location down. Yeah, I think I can cope with that because no those two in the middle won't move. Yeah, that isn't too bad for me. Thor can grow if we pull Mjolnir, but I've still got room to play here. Oh, we can keep bouncing Kitty. Uh, okay, so again, not ideal, but we can do that for now. Yeah, it's going to be tough pulling Mjolnir, let's say that. So uh, we're not in a great position, but we're, we have been in worse. All right, they've got Elsa. High power ice, man. Okay. Okay, one cost wasp. Uh, again, I feel like we've had worse situations. So I don't know what they play here. But we got Luke, so I feel like we're going to gamble on Yellow Jacket. We've got six power left, so then we do Wasp, Kitty, Hit Monkey. We're just gambling that they try and play something left. But they've probably got enough to flood the rest of the board. So, okay, I made the right call on Yellow Jacket. That definitely won that. So let's hope we got enough on the left. We certainly put enough power there. Daredevil, Angela, Black Widow. All right, well, not sure what you were playing there, but GG's, I'll take me eight cubes. <laughs> that, that was um, an odd deck. I, I, I don't know if that was a real player or a bot. I, I'm inclined to think it was a bot, but um, I, I don't know. <laughs> it could have been someone trying like a clutter deck and they just really didn't play it well. But um, yeah, I'll take my eight cubes. Let's move on to the next one. All right, uh, ties on. I've got uh, a soaker in my head. Yeah, um, something sounding familiar. I can only assume they've got magic. <laughs> All right, so. Let's play Angela. May as well just get the early two, two boost. Plus one energy, that's brilliant. So we can do Bishop on the right. And then Kitty. Surely you got magic. You wouldn't play Misty Knight on Oscorp Tower if you hadn't got a location changer. Surely not. Spider-Man here. Okay, they get my kitty. That's a bit of a bummer. Very odd play though. Okay, well I'm reasonably happy just playing Thor this turn, so that do I actually get Misty's power? I assume I do, so yeah, we'll do that. I've got no idea what that game was. <laughs> I'll take my cube. All right, we're up against Dantas. He says he's not very good. I'm not sure I believe him. So uh, we'll go Kitty in the middle. Hmm, okay. Elsa's kind of looking at me as if to say, play me, but I'm thinking we'll go Kitty left. Ant-Man. Okay. Sewer system. So now would be a good time to pull Luke Cage. 
Uh, we'll stack up this lane a little bit. We can't afford to play into Clintar yet. Okay, Jean Grey's an interesting call from him. And you know what? We'll do Bishop, we'll do Kitty. We'll just keep filling that lane. <laughs> uh, they pull Rogue, no ongoing abilities on my side, so that was a bit of a whiff. But it does make me just be a little bit wary about playing anything down that's got ongoings. So... We... We've got a play, sadly. Yeah, that, that, that is a bummer. Uh, I don't play Lady uh, Lady Thor. I keep calling her Lady Thor. Um, yeah, I don't play that there. So I think we have just got to go Kitty. Um, and we will go Mobius just for the fact that if the gamble... and pl Well, it, it, they can't even gamble. You know, if they play Rogue there, they can't pull it. So, yeah, I figure that's... It's low tempo, but we can afford to do it. Okay, so they are winning. Thor right now is useless. Our figure it, we can go... We, we've got to play in that location first, so unfortunately I feel like Mysterio has got to go here. So that's 1-1. One, one. Then we go like that and like that. It's not glamorous, but it... Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll take a cube. Maybe I should have snapped, but I wasn't entirely sure what my play was, so I didn't feel confident going for it. But hmm, we're still there. All right. All right, by my count, this is battle number nine. So uh, we've had quite a really good run here. We've had one loss. Um, so yeah, I can't complain. This deck's been slapping, which isn't really something I usually say, but it's the only apt thing to say about it. It's just been fantastic. So, Kitty in the middle again, because we don't want to be affected by Jotunheim. Or Jotunheim. Strange Academy. That could really screw us over later on. Um, we'll play Kitty right for now. Alright, there's Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Volmir. Yeah, Yellow Jacket's kind of getting sacrificed here. I think... Let's just get rid of Volmir's effect. Let's just make sure we're getting some power on the board. It's a bit of a shame to get rid of a card like that, but I think it'll be worse in the end. Um, Bishop... Kitty. We can then do Thor... Well, the Mighty Thor in the middle. And then we've just got to hope we can pull Luke Cage so that Jotunheim doesn't uh, wreck us. By rule of thumb, if you have more cards in uh, Jotunheim, you're going to lose it. So hopefully we don't pull too many there. Okay, we're not getting affected by Cyclops right now either, so that's not too bad. Okay, brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. I've got no qualms playing uh, Jane Foster there. We've got Wasp in our deck still. Unfortunately, we didn't play Thor, so we won't get any Mjolnirs, but it's still one extra card, which is the whole point of this deck. We want to play as many cards down as we can, and with that one extra card, we should have an option. Unless that happens. Got no qualms playing Jane Foster there. Hmm. Yeah. I kind of wish I played Mobius now. Oh, that, that sucks. No two ways of saying it, that sucks. Um, yeah, that's just a retreat. I've got no play line there that can win it for me. If they can play a life in the middle. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll GG him there. He played Wave at the right time. But um, for me, kind of sucks that one. Ugh. Okay. Um, we can recover that. We've got Mobius and Luke in the deck that can reverse these. But 
we're gonna have to play Mobius off curve to do that. Um, thanks. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do about that other than yeah, thanks. Uh, we're gonna play Luke. And we'll play Mobius. This is so weird though, why would you give me a goblin? Oh, you, you, you think just to fill my board up? Alright, well, um... Let's do that. I, I, I don't think I'll win the medal for the Asgard uh, race, but... They aren't even challenging for it. Okay, the... That, that's a bit rough for me. That's what, 10 power carnage? Pretty sure they only get the one, don't they? Yeah, so it's a 10 power carnage. We could out muscle that with uh, Thor. Well, Jane Foster. I'm not sure I'd want to play that though. Okay, yeah, so we win the middle. Hmm. Okay. I think we play Thor down. Oh, J Jane Foster down now. We're not going to play Thor. Actually, saying that, do we even play that now? I don't think we do, because there's not much benefit to it. It feels like the wrong thing to do because you don't know if they're going to play a Hobgoblin or something, but I think we just skip a turn. And then we can fill Bar Sinister with whatever we want, whether it's one card or several. I think we're going to play multiple though, we're not going to actually utilise Bar Sinister. We certainly aren't now. Alright, so they won that location. Okay, bit of naivety on my part there. Strange how they played Daredevil in that location and then destroyed it. Just a little by the by, I thought. Um, I don't know what their end play would be with this. I mean, it's not going to be much power, but maybe just these two? I mean, the monkey's certainly not going to be big. Face the might of Asgard, Mjolnir! GG's. <laughs> that was, um, I, I, I can't really explain that. What? Yeah, I, again, I'm kind of speechless. I, I can only put that down to being a bot, but I, I, again, I've not really seen bots play goblins before, so all of it feels very weird. But uh, yeah, uh, GG's. <laughs> all right, so this is what I like to do at the end of these little videos. Uh, essentially just showing how we got on and we had an 80% win rate, 8 uh, games won, 2 games lost. We did get to, vibe, uh, to rank 78 so that was a good climb from me. And even though my face cam is hidden you can see down below we got 36 cubes. So I would say this is a brilliant deck right now. Now I, I know people are talking about Mysterio. Again I don't feel like that's going to be the biggest problem. I feel like it uh, does have its benefits. But I don't feel like Mysterio is going to be the thing that makes or breaks this deck. I feel like it helps it, but that's just because you've got cards like Monkey and Bishop that benefit from cards being revealed. So 
in, in, that's just my opinion. I recognise there are people who are going, right, if I play Mysterio last in each lane, flood the lanes, we got a 3 of 3. It was, you, I mean, you got a 3 of 3 and a 7. So it is a lot of power, 13 power on a 2 cost. But I don't know. I'm not seeing it as the problem. I think it's just a case that Mysterio is a great card in these kind of decks. So I, again, I'd be very disappointed if there was a nerf to Mysterio and they tried to make it so that it doesn't count as a card played, it counts as a card that is added to a location. I think that would be... I, I, I don't really think that would be a good thing for the game if uh, Mysterio takes a bullet for a new card in Alsa. But I, I don't know, 80% win rate... For, for, again, granted, it's a very small sample size of 10 games, but I do think it is maybe just a little bit overpowered. But... Maybe there's just something that, that can be done to maybe, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know what you can do to fix this, if I'm going to be honest. I don't even know if it needs fixing. It could just be that it's a very good deck. Maybe the answer is to nerf uh, Jane a little bit, bring her down to a 5-7, a bit like Black Bolt Stature. Um, I, I don't think you'd want to touch Wasp or Yellow Jacket because they're just... Uh, before this deck, I never played Yellow Jacket, so honestly, you don't really want to touch that. Um... Luke, Luke's fine, you don't need to touch Luke. Uh, Mobius is obviously going to be a great tech card moving forward, so you don't want to touch that. So the only thing I could think is maybe change Monkey. Maybe change Monkey to gain plus one power for each other card, but then would it be beneficial as well to change his cost? Because he was 2-0 before, and he felt quite good at 2-0. So maybe reduce him back to that, but change him to gaining one power, because even though that is less uh, I don't know uh, you think then is is he the same as Bishop mm. uh, he's, he's lesser than Bishop arguably I, I don't know it, it monkey could be in a really funny spot if they touch him so uh, yeah and Thor to be honest again Thor's usually only in logical decks so I feel like this is a nice time to be playing him again I, I've had that to variant I've been playing in the game for a, co a couple of weeks now to say the least and I barely used it because I don't really play Thor. So um, it's ca kind of nice just being able to give Thor a go. So I wouldn't want Thor to be nerfed. I don't really want uh, Jane Foster to be nerfed either, but I don't know. Something tells me 36 cubes, 80% win rate. It feels like something they might want to touch on. But again, I would be disappointed. But yeah, that's it, folks. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I will try to put out more Marvel Snap content moving forward. Um, I do try and make my main priority my Galaxy of Heroes live streams, but after that I do try and prioritise uh, both this and my Let's Play channel. I will leave a link to my Let's Play channel somewhere on, on the screen as we're ending this, the video. Alright, so thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now everyone.